here's my rudder position here's my wind i've been watching the wind go up and down for a while here we are going into st lucia this is the number that we're looking at see how hard the uh, rudder's working we want to keep it between uh, sort of two and five generally in, in normal conditions we're not doing too bad we're sort of keeping it around the five mark boat speeds helping a lot so the faster we go the more grip our rudder has so how many days without a rudder now three days two days three days <laughs> two or three days um minus one rudder and still about four or five days out from um, land so we're running quite deep we've got no mainsail up and we've just got Frankie but the breeze is quite light and it's forecast to be quite light for the rest of the day so we're going to put our big asymmetrical spinnaker up a big A um, which is masthead and we're just going to see if we can get the speed up a bit during the day and then we can back it off in the evenings when, when it gets dark we're not as grippy as we were not before so um so we're trying to just we keep the main down we're hoping we don't sort of make the boat slew around as much on the on the top of the waves so So you've glued those two bits of foam together yesterday and this mark I can see here is the stock. Uh, yeah. 
Okay, so that's one half of one rudder. And what are you doing now? Shaping it? Shaping the next bit too? Uh, no, just trimming all the dags off. And um, yeah, now I've got to set up to put the other bits on. Try and figure out how to keep it all straight and square while I do it. This is the template here that you use to shape it. Is there a template? Can I pick it up? Yeah. So is there a template on the other? You can see the joins where there's obviously all of the gluing that's gone on with the different how many layers of foam. But then Shane's got, you can see there's a template on this side and there's a template on this side and he's just had to hand shape it to match the template really. I got a blunt and now he's going to cut it with a blunt horse so that we can fit the carbon rudder stock in it. Shit tools. Oh. Need to make some more miracles, Miracle Man. How, how'd you go with the um? Hole drilling anyway. I got the first part of it. Didn't get the rest of it <coughs> drilling through. Uh, I had to turn it into a um, cutting hole by a jigsaw operation. Uh huh. So I've roughed it out and now I've got to make a, a round hole that is the right size. Does it need any more? No. There's people that are worried that you've got an angle grinder out near our carbon stock, Shane. <laughs> yeah. I've got to cut it to the right length. That was supplied. They supplied it slightly over length, which is normal. But um, 
Yeah, this means I've got to cut it to the right level. Oh, let me have a look at that beautiful disc that you've got there. Yeah. We've got quality tools, nice. quality job. That's so serious. And that's where it's thin. Mm. So the ID there is the same all the way through. And you can see how much thicker it is here. And if you look at the end here, this is also. Oh, yeah, look at that. But that's also tapered as well. That's not as thick as it is where the bearing is there. So, oh, it's a lot of carbon. It's a lot of carbon. Oh, your tolerance. You don't have much tolerances there, do you? Nope. Very, very fine tolerances. Make, you, make it difficult on yourself, Shane, yeah? Yeah, well, I changed the sectional shape from the original, when I originally started, to what this is. Oh, that's never going to help you. Make it easy, is it? Uh, I'm happy with the sectional shape I've ended up with. It's fast, really fast. Okay, what's the next step in the process? I've got to make the recess for my bearing in the head so that the blade will sit closer to the hull to create that seal between the rudder blade and the hull. And then... Which we have spoken about before. Yeah, well, if you haven't seen the video with all the bubbles, um, that's exactly what this relates to, is getting the top of the blade as close as we possibly can to the, um, the hull to stop um, ventilation there and improve the efficiency of our rudder. Um, and then I need to bond, uh, start bonding my blank together and bonding the blank to the stock. That's the next steps. Does it matter that you've done it in three pieces and that you have to glue it and it's not one <clears throat> single piece of foam? Does that make a difference? No. So it is a structural foam, but it's not very structural, I guess you could say. So yes, it is structural and it takes loads through it, particularly shear loads through it, and it's rigid enough that it holds its shape and its form but it's not super strong like plywood or glass or something like that that takes massive amounts of load so um, to cut it and glue it back together and because it um, takes load in all directions not, uh, it's not a directional uh, material it means that I can cut it and glue it and stick it back together in any way shape and form as I please so and that, that glue's not going to be a hard point yeah it does become a hard point but it becomes a hard point and a difficulty for shaping but not as far as strength is concerned okay uh. okay so what's your mix here is this Cabasil or is that just the microfillers? Uh, Cabasil, aerosol, same thing. So has it got any st structural or is it just a bog? It's just a filler. Just a thickener. Um, it's a little bit strong but if it wanted to make it super strong I'd be putting cotton microfibers or mill fiber in there but that's not required because I'm bonding to foam. And you're just trying to make that hole there as snug to the stock as you can, right? Correct. Or are you gluing it on? Yeah. So it's not going to come off? No. Huh? Oh. That's it. That's going on. It's about to become a rubber.
So what does this steering thing do that you said? It helps transfer the torque from the rudder stock into the blade skins. So transferring torque, not load. Yeah, torque. So that's the turning motion. Is it just going to be a bit of laminating carbon? Yeah, so it's just a little bit of carbon that goes from the stock and then creates a tab 